What's going on guys, it's who you talking to and I'm back on NBA 2K20 and today we're going to be rebuilding the Detroit Pistons. This team is nowhere near good and I guarantee probably only about two or three people might be on this team by the time that we're in our last season. But if you guys do have been enjoying this video, hit that like button. Also comment down below if you guys want to see some more NBA 2K20 videos. Also, subscribe if you guys are new around here and want to see some more NBA 2K20 content. Hit that post notifications bell so you see when I post a new video. And the first thing I want to do is probably get rid of Derrick Rose because he has a two-year $15 million option. I think he has more than that. And so does Blake Griffin. I guarantee most of these people have team options other than like Bruce Brown, which he might be one of the people staying same thing with like psycho Dumboya, and i'm pretty sure yeah he has a team option brandon knight just is making a lot of money so the first trade i'm gonna be doing i'm trading away derrick rose and brandon knight for demar DeRozan in a second round pick now with that i want to get rid of demar DeRozan because he's on his last year and plus his trade value is usually really good so the next trade I'm going to be doing, I'm trading away DeMar DeRozan and a 2024 first round pick for Zach Levine and Cristiano Felicio. Next trade I'm going to be doing is Cristiano Felicio and a second round pick for the one and only Trayvon Graham and a second round pick. And just to get a first round pick, I'm trading away John Henson and a second round pick for Cristiano Felicio back. I'm just going to trade him for another sorry dude and I'm also getting a first round pick. Next, I'm going to try to trade with the Hornets. I'm going to trade them Tony Snell, Langston Galloway, and our 2022 first round pick for their first round pick. And Nicholas Batum, they're probably not going to accept this. Maybe if I add one more first round pick, that will get it done. Mm, one, one second, two seconds. Two seconds should be enough. And two seconds is not enough. So I threw in Jordan McCray to see if that will get the deal done and it is agreed. Next, I'm going to do this trade. I'm going to trade Nicholas Batum and Luis King for Dwayne Dedman and a Atlanta first round pick. Next, I'm going to trade away Dwayne Dedman and a second round pick for Matthew Delvadova and Matt Money. Next, I'm going to try this trade with Cleveland. I'm going to try and give them Blake Griffin and two first round picks and a second round pick for Andre Drummond. I think they won't. Well, they agreed. So now this team is low key taking shape. I'm gonna put Zach Levine at small forward. So we're gonna have Luke Kennard starting at shooting guard. And one thing we don't have is a point guard. So, or we probably have a, yeah, we have Matthew Delvadova. So I do want a bad point guard. So we have good shooting guard or small forward center. Luke Kennard could be a good shooting guard coming off the bench. But I also wanna give Bruce Brown some minutes and i'm gonna make seku demboya i'm gonna make him start this year i also want to make him probably the top option for scoring and i'm gonna make christian wood for his non-starter so i'm gonna try this trade with the golden state warriors i'm gonna trade them atlanta's first round pick and the second round pick for their first round pick because i know that they basically suck the first year so i'm gonna try and give them somebody who's like decent is Reggie Bula good enough for y'all? And they agree. So this is gonna be a rotation for year number one. We're gonna give Jordan Bone 28 minutes just because I don't know why they don't wanna give Matthew Delvadova any minutes, but I guess we'll just have Jordan Bone starting point guard, Luke Kennard shooting guard, Zach Levine small forward, Sekou Demboya power forward, and Andre Drummond center. Six man is gonna be Christian Wood. Then we have Bruce Brown, Don Maker, and I'm not even gonna try and say his name. So I'm going to send to the end of the season. I'm going to see you guys when I'm there. And at the end of year number one, we go 29 and 53. MVP is LeBron James. Rookie of the year, John Morant. Six man of the year, DeMarcus Cousins. Defense player of the year, Giannis. Most improved, Luka. Coach of the year, Doc Rivers. And we didn't make the playoffs, so I'm just going to simulate the playoffs. And the NBA champions are the Los Angeles Clippers, finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. In draft lottery, so we have three picks, but I know Golden State's pick is not going to be that good. So we have the sixth, the ninth, and that's it. So I'm just going to skip it. Hopefully we get lucky, and we've got the eighth and the tenth. I'm going to hire Randy Martin as our trainer, and I'm going to fire Dwayne Casey and pick up i do want pop but 
he's probably gonna retire soon so i'm just gonna pick up michael stauffer and on draft night i'm gonna try and trade the new york knicks for their pick so i think i'm giving away the 10th yeah the 10th pick golden state 20th pick and kyrie thomas i'm trying to get their pick and they don't accept that so we're gonna have to go for a maybe six or a seven and they don't do that so let's try going with the seventh pick so going into the draft i think i'm just gonna go through it i know lamello ball lamello ball is gonna get picked but i need a point guard and a power forward maybe if we don't wanna dang i wanted tyrese and cleveland got him james wiseman we could actually maybe got him so we can get rj hampton he's a 74 overall but what we need most is a power forward and a point guard so with our first pick we're on a pick killian hayes he is a point guard from france but again he is 65 and with this pick i think i'm gonna go with I might go with Precious, Precious Achua. I never got Precious, so let's pick him. Team player option, the only person I'm gonna bring back is Luke Kennard, and Andre Drummond actually declined his. So if we could have got James Wiseman, that would have been really nice. And free agency, let's see who's all in free agency. I think the best bet is to re-sign Andre Drummond and then try and get a shooting guard maybe how good are the shooting guards in this not that good so we're gonna offer andre drummond 191 million dollar contract with a player eto option no trade clause because i don't think i'm gonna trade him so we should get him we're also gonna sign christian wood to a two year with a team option for 32 million dollars so we still have 24 million so i might offer a fred van vliet a two year with a team option just so we can have him maybe play shooting guard or we can have killian hayes play shooting guard and we sign fred van vliet so the only other thing that we need right now is a point guard so let's go ahead and look at point guards and who would i like maybe trey burke let's just offer trey burke with a team option and he accepts so here's gonna be our lineup for the next season Killian Hayes, Sir, and point guard, Fred Van Vliet, shooting guard, Zach Levine, small forward, presses a Chua, power forward, and Andre Drummond, center. Six man is going to be Luke Kennard. Then we have Trey Burke, Christian Wood, Seko Demboya. And I would play Bruce Brown, but that means we need 10 spots. Well, actually, let's just, let's just do 10. And I guess Seku is starting now, even though I think I want Precious. So let's go back to 9. And then why is it put in Seiku? I want Precious. I'm gonna to simulate to the end of this year. I'll see you guys when I'm there. So right now we are nine and 11 and Fred Van Vliet is only averaging 10 points while Dennis Schroeder's averaging a whopping 20 points. And I think I'm about to do this trade. Fred Van Vliet in a second round pick for Dennis Schroeder. We're gonna see what we can do with Dennis Schroeder. And at the end of year number two, we are 39 and 43. MVP is Giannis, Rookie of the Year LaMelo Ball, Sixth Man of the Year DeMarcus Cousins, Defensive Player of the Year Kawhi Leonard, Most Improved, De'Aaron Fox, Coach of the Year Lloyd Pierce. So we're actually the seventh seed taking on the Milwaukee Bucks and 
we already know who's on the Bucks. It's Giannis and Chris Middleton. We also have Robin Lopez. Yeah, let's just say that we're not going to beat Giannis because our team is good, but not as good as Giannis. Simulating the first round, let's see. If, can we at least win one game? Just one game. I'll take one game. Okay, we finally won one, two, one, three, one. And I'm just going to simcast it, even though I'm pretty sure we're going to lose. There is no way that we're going to beat Giannis. Well, actually. Well, we just did just that. So let's simcast again. Now it's 3-2. And this might... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 98 to 89. So now it's to game 7. So Giannis is probably going to be in his bag. And... Looks like it's just that. So we just got blown out. Like blown out, blown out. So I'm going to simulate the rest of the playoffs. So your NBA champions are the Boston Celtics. John Wall is your finals MVP. And let's see. Kawhi declined. And so did Paul George. So that means that we could probably get some good players, maybe, if we have enough cap room. If we don't have enough cap room, then maybe I could trade Drummond and try and see if I can get a good center that doesn't cost that much. So actually, I have about 70 million in cap hold. So there are a lot of good players here. I'm going to offer Kawhi a $168 million deal with a player option, no trade clause. And we're actually at the top for Kawhi. But again, I think we need to sign. Do we have, where is he at? I know we have bird rights on him, maybe. Do we get Kawhi and Paul George? Can we actually get both? But we have to get rid of Luke Kennard, which, ooh, I don't know if I want, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to. But again, I'm going to sign Bruce Brown then for our backup shooting guard. And then everybody else we can get rid of. Do we sign Kawhi Leonard? And we can. Let's go. So now I could put Zach Levine back as shooting guard. So then Kawhi small forward, Drummond center, Zach Levine shooting guard, Killing Hayes point guard, Bruce Brown shooting guard. Yeah, he's going to be the backup. And then Sekou Demboya and Precious Achua power forward. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I have it seven. So we're going to need a backup center and a backup point guard. Because I don't think we need a backup small forward since we have Kawhi now. So for a backup point guard, I'm going to sign Darren Collison to a one-year deal. And for center, who can we actually get? I know we only have $4 million, so we're going to have to spend cheap. You know what? Let's bring in Boban. We're going to bring, on, bring in Bo Boban. So this is going to be the rotation for the last season. Killian Hayes, point guard, Zach Levine, shooting guard, Kawhi Leonard, small forward, Sekou Demboya, power forward, Andre Drummond, center. Our sixth man is going to be Bryce Brown, or Bruce Brown, my bad. Presses Achua, Boban, and then Darren Collison. So I'm going to simulate to the end of this year. Hopefully we get a championship or at least make the playoffs. I'll see you guys when I'm there. So at the end of year number three, you go 49 and 33. MVP is Giannis. Rookie of the year is Cade Cunningham. Six man of the year is Brandon Clark. Best player of the year is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Most improved Bryce Brown. Did we sign him back? Is he on our team? I think he is. Yeah, he is. So he averaged 12 this season. Wow. And coach of the year, Brad Stevens. So we are the third seed this year in the East, and we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. So the Atlanta Hawks have Trey Young. John Collins, Clint Capella, and they're decent. Simulating this first round, we're down 1-0. We're up, I mean, no, it's not we're up. 2-1. 2-2. 
three to us and will this be it four to us all right so we're gonna be facing the 76ers oh no so ben simmons oh they got jimmy butler back it's up al horford and joel Embiid. simulating this round we're up 1-0 1-1 2-1 3-1 oh snap 3-2 Four two. All right, so now we're facing. Oh no, we're facing the Milwaukee Bucks once again with Giannis and Chris Middleton. But now they have Enfale Dante. I don't know if that's how you say his name. But simulating this round, we're up one zero. We're up two zero. We're up oh two two, three two, three three. Okay, this is what I was expecting from the Milwaukee Bucks. I feel like we should beat them though, because we have Kawhi. I mean, our team is good, but. I guess we're not that good. Guess we can't even beat Milwaukee. Denver Nuggets are. Finals MVP is Jamal Murray. Well, this is going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see some more NBA 2K20. Also, subscribe if you guys are new around here and you guys want to see some more NBA 2K20 content. Hit that post notification so you guys know when I post a new video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.